Okay, I wanted to do a quick video about exactly how I soldered together valve gear. I'm working on a Sandy River loco at the moment, and it got to the point where I needed to rivet together the um, crosshead and the connecting rod. So I've got my three pieces, crosshead, connecting rod, and the valve gear rivet. You're going to need a small piece of paper. Um, I use a piece of post-it note, but whatever will do. And you're going to need some oil. I'm using posh oil here because I had it to hand, but honestly, any oil will do. Um, to start with, the first thing I did was go through and ream all of the holes to the right size. I'm using a small valve, a, a small brooch, five-sided brooch, and I have a bit of RSI in my fingers, so I tend to hold it in a pin chuck. But do it however you like. The next job is to pop the rivet through the hole in the cro cross head. So it's sticking out the back. Always rivet from the front to the back. Place it down, hopefully without the rivet dropping out the back. Now you're going to need to pierce a hole in the middle of the paper. Um, I used to just try and push it over the rivet, but you get much better results if you just take a pinpoint and just pierce it through. Now on this on this occasion, there is a surround around the pin, and I need to get the paper over the pin. So I'm going to use a pair of tweezers just to make life a bit easier, and of course the pin's dropped out. Okay, at this stage, try and hold everything together without putting on the connecting rod. I'm going to take a little bit of oil and flood the paper. Next job, making sure you've got it up the right way. Don't forget that it's facing down at the moment. Place the connecting rod over the pen. And the hole's not picking up. That's better. Now, take some flux. I'm using the DCC Concepts No Clean Flux, which is available on the website. And just use a tiny bit on the top of the rivet. You're going to need a tiny, tiny piece of solder. I'm going to use my iron. Pick up a piece of solder on the tip and just gently touch it against the rivet. There should be enough solder to seal around the rivet, but not enough that it flows through to the component behind. Once you've done the joint, just give it a quick flick and check the joint's okay. It is in this case. And then the only thing left to do is pull away the paper. Perfect. Job done. 